In this problem, we're given a rhombus ABCD with the measure of angle A or DCB equaling 110. So the first thing we need to look at is decide or ask ourselves, what are some of the properties of a rhombus that we need to be aware of to help us solve this problem here? The first thing which is important for us to understand is that in a rhombus, the diagonals bisect opposite angles. Also, another important fact we need to be aware of is too is the measure or the diagonals are perpendicular to each other as well too. Perpendicular meaning they meet at a right angle in the middle. So in this case here, we're looking at the first step we're going to do is fill our angle value in, which is the measure of angle DCB is equal to 110. So angle DCB is located in the lower right hand corner, which is right down in this spot over here, which equals 110. Now the next thing we need to be aware of too is this. The diagonals bisect opposite angles they go through. Bisect means cut in half. So in order to find the problem in this case here, we're going to take 110 divided by 2, and we're going to come up with a measure of angle 55 over here, and the measure of this angle here is 55 degrees as well too. Another important property of a rhombus is that the angles across from each other are congruent to each other or equal to each other. So in this case here we know the measure of this angle up here is 55 and the measure of this angle here is 55 as well too. So now the next step we need to be aware of is that we're going to look at the measure of the angles in the middle. These angles in the middle are all 90 degrees. So we've got four right angle or four right angles in the in the middle. Now the next step we'll do is to solve for the missing angle down here is we take the sum of 55 and 90, subtract that from 180, and we're going to come up with a measure of angle. This angle is 35, and the measure of this angle here is equal to 35 as well too. So making, as we said before, angles across from each other are congruent to each other as well too, making this angle here equal to 35, and this angle here equal to 35 as well too. So now we have all the information we need to figure this out with. Now the next thing we're told is we're asked to calculate the measure of all these angles here. So the first thing we remember to do is make sure you fill in the angles inside the rhombus itself and then all you got to do then is transfer all that information over to your problem itself. So the first thing we're trying to find out is the measure of angle ACD. So the measure of angle ACD is going to actually be located right in this spot right here. That's the measure of angle HCD is what we've got up there. And we transfer that information over here and we write down 55 for the first angle. The next angle we're trying to find is angle DEA. DEA is actually located right in the middle of, this, of the rhombus itself. So angle D. EA is located right here in the middle. That measure there is going to be 90 degrees. The next angle we're trying to find is BAC. And that angle BAC is located right up here in the corner over in that spot there. So that would be equal to 55 for that angle right there. Now the next angle we're trying to find is the measure of angle CBD. So CBD is actually located right over here. So you've got angle CBD is this angle, which is going to be right over here, which is equal to 35. So you write down 35 for that angle right there. The next step we need to be aware of is that we've got angle ADC as our next one. So we've got ADC. Now ADC is actually the entire angle itself, not part of it, but actually the entire angle itself is what we have here. So we've got to take the sum of those two angles together. So we're to take the measure of 35 and 35, add them together, and as you can probably guess, we're going to turn out to get 70 for that one right there. Now the last one we need to find is angle CAD, and that CAD is going to be this angle right up here in the corner and that will be actually equal to 55 degrees for that one right there. So the main thing about solving a problem like this when they just give you one angle to begin with is remember a couple things. In a rhombus the diagonals are bisecting opposite angles and they also are going to be the fact that the angles across from each other are going to be congruent to each other as well too. And the next major thing you need to be aware of also is the fact that the diagonals are perpendicular or they meet at a right angle.